Now, as the world battles to tackle the spread of COVID-19 virus scientifically, the subject of vaccination is making the pandemic more controversial. Here in Nigeria, there are divided views on vaccination. And our health correspondent, Jacqueline Ogo, was out in Lagos asking experts for answers to major questions the people ask about vaccination. One ailment many deeply fear to come down with at this time is COVID-19. They fear the deeply infectious killer virus because medical science is still swinging from one end of research to the other, trying to find perfect solutions to prevention and care. And if you're wondering why that is so, the answer is the virus is a fast mutating one. That means it has the capacity to keep changing from one type to the other which can make the vaccine used for a previous variant ineffective for a new variant. Medical scientists will then have to return to the laboratory, seeking new scientific interventions to keep people safer. As medical experts try to tackle the associated nerve-wracking challenges to achieving safety, opinions are getting more and more divided on vaccine acceptability. Some are embracing the jabs, while others who are not comfortable with the idea fold their arms, looking away from it. The first dose, I didn't have any issues, but the second one, I was feeling a bit feverish, um, headache, then I was restless, sort of. I've not taken the vaccine because I did not trust the whole process and the government. Really, I'm not ready to yet. I'm waiting to see it, that it has been proven that it's safe for everyone to use. I believe in it and it's good but it should not be made compulsory by government because we have some other preventive measures. These mixed reactions got me moving further to find answers to several questions people ask about the controversial COVID-19 vaccination. Lagos State Commissioner for Health and another medical expert, Dr. Joella Conde, had to provide answers. This was my first question. Why do people fall ill after taking the jabs? Yeah, you will fall sick because anything that is foreign to your body will cause you to be unwell. There are some very minute number that very, very tiny and it's not in the general, we cannot generalize that this is the issue. The next question was, why do some people die after taking the second jab? Why is this so? There is no link per se that this is the vaccine that killed them. It did, some of these deaths may have been due to cardiac or heart diseases, lung diseases, ex, uh, established lung diseases or illness, chronic diseases that are already there. We do know that some people, even who are fully vaccinated with two doses, will still catch COVID and some people, very few, but some people will get quite sick and occasionally some people may die. But certainly the people that are dying who are not vaccinated are much higher than the people who are dying who have been vaccinated. I also asked both doctors if the vaccine in circulation can be termed completely effective. A large population has been tested and millions or do I say billions of people have now taken the vaccines, yet the world is safer. There will be some side effects and then that does not necessarily mean that that's the end. There is no point vaccinating just one part of the world and leaving Africa unvaccinated. What will happen is that we will get new variants in Africa which will now travel to Europe and America and overcome the vaccines that they have developed over there. We either all move together or we will all experience the consequences of lack of collaboration and partnership. Lagos State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akin Abayomi, also had to clear the air on whether or not booster jabs may be introduced for added safety, just like some other nations are doing now. You may require a booster, which is a first, second, and then subsequent doses because we've also discovered that even though the vaccine stops you from getting 
um, seriously sick, it may not necessarily stop you from catching COVID. And as I tried to bow out of my investigation, I sought to know if governments and organizations making the vaccine compulsory are on the right track. Some people will have COVID-19 and come to work. Some people will take no challenge attitudes to it. They will infect many. We have evidence all over. So government has to protect the innocent, the vulnerable. How many centers do we have? How many people are given the opportunity to even get the vaccine? Because before you say you want to make the vaccine compulsory, you must make the vaccine available. The federal government has vaccinated at least 1.8% of its population. And Lagos state government has vaccinated 1% with a plan to vaccinate not less than 3% by the end of the year. Wherever the pendulum swings, the watchword remains safety, which must not be under...